So I may have come up with a fix for these uh, parking brake cables when they get stuck. Mine got stuck. I don't know if you guys saw videos of me going through some water. There's going to be some more coming out once I get done editing. Uh, but it didn't take very many water crossings to where these didn't really want to move at all. Most of the junk comes in through the bottom, but of course these little rubber boots, uh, well this is the only one I got left, this other one I don't know what happened to that. Um, <clears throat> trying to, you know, pull them back and forth, clean them out. My uh, uh, sheath, the sheath that the wires covered in here did get kind of broken up here at the end from kind of halfway falling off that pulley uh, that this hooks around. and. Uh, so I cut that off and I was working the, the one side back and forth line. I uh, got it pretty clean, it still needed some more. We were actually working on um, printing these little uh, inserts here that'll clamp on it. And then you just have to drill a hole to fit, uh, to squeeze a uh, little nozzle in and clean them out. Uh, of course, while this was printing, I was working on the other side here, trying to get it freed up, and the sheath, when it went in here, it got stuck on the inside of this uh, press-on fitting here, uh, and I couldn't get it out. I tried pulling on it, and what it did was wrinkle it out to the other end here. So I thought, well, shoot, I'll just remove the whole thing. So what I did was cut as much off as I could here. I left a, a couple inches here, uh, and I clamped uh, vice grips on it. Um, well, I'll set it up in the vise here like I have it. How did I have it? I think like this. And you don't want to you don't want to clamp too hard because you don't want to crush that anymore. Just enough to hold it. And what I did was I pulled it all the way as far as I could, and I cut the sheath down a few inches. <clears throat> Full disclaimer: this may or may not work for you. I had to fight with it, but I did get it. Um, and if yours is seized up, it's something to try. It's already seized. It can't get any worse. Uh, and then I just uh, clamped that on. Well, I did it. I had it kind of tight. Um, so that the pliers would hold the sheath. And then I went to the middle and I just pulled it through like that. Um, it didn't hold on for much longer than an inch until I got to the last six inches or so. so It'd pull an inch and then the pliers would slip off the sheath. Um, once I figured that out, it went pretty quick, you know, an inch at a time. Um, so I did that for both sides. And now I have a cable that I can flush. I can spray stuff down it and it just flows right through. Um, I had a new cable here that we just got rid of and this actually moves better than uh, the new cable did. And this is how most of the old vehicles had. They didn't have a sheath on the cable. It just went right through uh, this part. Um, so that's a possible upgrade that, that you might be able to do to try and save your cable. If you can get it to move enough back and forth on the, on the table, um, you can probably free it up enough to, to get the sheath out. And when you pull on this end, the springs should return the other end fairly easily. There is another spring in the, in the brake drum itself to help pull that back, but really you don't want to have to have it help. You know, you want it to do its thing on its own. Um, that way you don't have a brake dragon. So we're gonna put this in and see how it goes. And if we can get the print right on these little inserts here, you'll be able to service, service these in the vehicle once you remove your sheath. They, if yours are still in good shape with the sheath on it, you can use these to help you know, clean it out a little bit and put some Teflon or Graphlite lube through it. Um, wet lubricants like WD-40 or uh, we got this other spray oil that was helping me to remove the sheath. Um, Dirt's going to stick to that, and it's really not what you want. Uh, so just about any kind of dry lubricant's going to be what you need. And uh, actually, let's go over to the vehicle, and I'll show you how these work. So with these in the vehicle, mine's not put back in all the way. It'll go kind of like that. The other way, it'll go like that. 
with the parking brake disengaged, uh, you want to properly uh, make sure the vehicle won't roll, block it, or put it in gear, or whatever you need to do. Um, you can, you'll be able, there should be, with properly adjusted brakes, there should be enough room for you to take, just take the cable off like that. If you only got an inch or two of pull, yeah, an inch or two of pull on your parking brake lever before your brakes are engaged, that might not work. Uh, you know, you should have, you know, factory several inches before it really gets tight. Um, but once you take that off, or just disconnect it, um, if you have any of these little rubber boots, you can take them off. Here, we'll do it on this other side. And you'll want to take a C-clamp. I don't have any little C-clamps in here. They're all getting used somewhere else. But uh, you'll put this on the cable like this, or you could even just take it out of this little bracket. Either way, you know, that's all it takes to take it out of that little bracket. But either way, oh, never mind. I guess you will have to take it out of the little bracket, the way these are designed. And then uh, it goes on the cable just like that. And you can get your little spray nozzle in the hole that you drill in and uh, flush out the cable and it'll flush right out at the end there. Or it should. It depends on how, how bad yours are. If they're real bad, you might have to take them out. Um, but once you, once you do the delete here, it should work pretty good. Uh, you know, I just deleted mine. Um, I haven't even put it back in yet, so I don't know how long it'll be before I can test it in some good mud again. Uh, I was down in Tennessee when I did this and there's not there's not the same kind of mud around here uh, so we'll just have to wait and see. So far everything I've gone through hasn't hasn't really affected it. Even some, a lot of the stuff in Pennsylvania didn't really affect it any. Um, so it kind of varies on the stuff you're going through wherever you're at. Uh, well, after, anyway, after you get that done, you just take the clamp off. Um, I may redesign these a little bit because there is enough room to put these on without taking them out of here, but it doesn't take much to take them out of there, I guess. Keeps it more, you know, holds it for you, I guess, if nothing else. Uh, so I'll work on another revision of these, and I'll make these, uh, make these available. I'll, I'll post a video when I test these. I just got this off the printer. I got to drill a hole in it. Um, but anyway, after you get, get them sprayed out, cleaned out, uh, you, you know, you can pull on the cables to kind of work it through if you need. Once that's done, just take your pulley. May or may not need leverage to get it back up on there, but uh, that's, that's it. Um, yeah, that's a pretty good fix, I think. All the, all the old stuff didn't have sheath on the cable, uh, just some of the newer stuff. And, you know, of course, that stuff did lock up too, but after how many years? Quite a few. Uh, and then if you can keep it clean with the uh, little inserts I got made, uh, they should, should last until they rust all the way through or until they're so stretched you can't adjust them anymore.